Hello, my name is Andy York and I'm your Cargo Loop Administrator. Today I'm going to show you how to use the new Boxes feature on Cargo Loop. You will use the Boxes tab for entering and tracking information for auto parts, electronics, clothing items, household goods, and other shipments from places like Amazon, eBay, Zappos, and various parts dealers. Please utilize this feature as soon as you make a purchase and receive the tracking number and before your box arrives at one of our terminals. In the next several steps, I will show you how to fill in the necessary information on the Boxes tab. Start by clicking the Boxes tab at the top of the page. It's located in between the Vehicles and Shipments tab. Then click on the New Box button. First, you need to enter in the tracking number as provided by the shipper. One thing we need to point out, if you have multiple boxes with different tracking numbers, please fill out the form multiple times, entering them as separate boxes. This informs our staff what to expect as it arrives. Go ahead and fill out your tracking number and then select what shipping company you have used from the drop down menu, UPS, FedEx, DHL, US Postal Service, TNT, or other. If you pick other, please use the customer notes section to let us know what company will be sending your box to us. Next, make sure to enter a detailed description in the description field. You'll want to let us know exactly what is in the box. For example, black driver's side Lexus mirror. Besides letting us know what shipping company if you selected other, use the customer notes section to communicate with our staff any special instructions you have on handling specific boxes. For example, if you want us to place a box inside a certain vehicle, enter put inside lot number 123456. Next, use the drop down arrow on the terminal section and select which terminal you shipped your box to. Regarding the next section, we keep your purchase price confidential, but our staff does need to know this information to fill out customs declarations. Finally, fill out the purchase date. This allows our staff to know when to expect delivery of your box. At this point, you'll want to click Save Box. This will take you back to the summary screen to show you the box has been successfully entered. Go ahead and click on the box so we can see the details and see some of the other features on the screen. When our staff receives the box, they will mark the delivery date to the terminal and take at least two pictures of your package and its contents. When your box is loaded inside a container, you will have access to the container number, booking number, and other shipment information, just like when a vehicle is shipped. On the upper right side, you may have noticed a field titled Email Box Details. You can use this field to email details to your customers. Simply enter in their email address and click Send. Below this, you will see the section titled Extra Fees. We will use this to notify you of any payments a shipper made on your behalf. For example, if you shipped a heavy engine to one of our terminals and we had to pay additional shipping and handling charges, we enter those charges in this section and they show up on your invoice. I'll go ahead and click on the save box again and show you another item of interest. You are able to track your box's progress through the shipping process just like the vehicles you ship. When you first enter the box into Cargo Loop, it will show under the new section. When the box arrives at the terminal, it shows at terminal, then booked, loaded, and finally delivered. Remember, you need to use the boxes tab as soon as you make a purchase and before your box arrives at one of our terminals. This allows us to provide the most care for your goods. Thank you for watching this video tutorial about the new boxes feature on Cargo Loop. If you have any further questions, please email me at infocargoloop.com. At